All right, music fans, welcome back to The Real Music Observer. My name is Dave, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there and me right here. So uh, two members of Journey, past and present, were spotted in Las Vegas a couple of days ago. I kind of sat on this because I wasn't sure what to make of it when the two guys are Greg Raleigh and Ross Valerie. Uh, it kind of feeds into this conspiracy theory that possibly some guys are meeting, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, Vegas, by the way, is normally a place where Neil Sean likes to test drive something new. Uh, if you look at the band's history, they tend to like to go to Vegas and break something in because, um, quite honestly, the crowds are a little bit more forgiving. Uh, it's a natural entertainment atmosphere, and people are looking for something to do, and you really get a ton of exposure if you go to Vegas and roll something new out, and I think that's a strong possibility uh, with a new version of this band. Now again, my gut tells me that this is not uh, Neil Sean's trademark. In other words, he can't just say, hey, it's Journey. Uh, I don't know if he can even say it's Neil Sean's journey. Uh, I don't know any of the legal stuff there. I know he went and met with a legal uh, team a couple of months ago, and I'm not sure what came out of that meeting. But I can tell you this much is that it doesn't really matter what he calls it. Uh, if they can perform the music of Journey, uh, and it's in the contract that they can do so, uh, then they might assemble some musicians and you know maybe they can get Kevin Chalfont or somebody to sing maybe they can call it the storm and do music from the storm uh, music that journey recorded Kevin's got his own band out there doing what he calls the journey experience uh, if you don't know Kevin he was vocalist for journey for a brief time in between when Steve Perry left in 87 and then returned in 96 uh, I guess they were ready to roll with him, and then Perry decided to come back, and so uh, they put the brakes on Kevin Chalfont, but it's too bad because I think Kevin's voice has held up well. Uh, again, he probably sounds less like Steve Perry than a number of people, including, you know, Steve Jerry, probably Arnell. Uh, I'm just trying to think of the other folks. Jeremy sounded more like Steve. I mean, there's Pretty much everybody, maybe Jeff Scott Soto is the only guy who sounded less like Steve Perry uh, than Kevin did. But I'm wondering, though, because this would be a good option for everybody involved. Uh, it gets Kevin off of the tribute band circuit. Uh, it gets uh, Greg back in there. So, you know, Greg and Kevin have worked together before, and uh, they've sung a hit together. Uh, I've got a lot to learn about love, and then they can go back and sing things like Just the Same Way and feel in that way and any time and those types of songs. So it would bring kind of the older school fan base back into the fold. Uh, it allows Neil to jam out like he wants to. Uh, who's playing drums? Because I don't think Dean Castronovo is in on this. I think Dean does not want the drama. I think he wants to do his own thing. I think he's recognizing some success with Revolution Saints. And I think, quite honestly, he wants to probably put that part of his music past uh, completely behind him. That's just a hunch. Uh, you know, does Steve Smith jump in because it's so uh, authentic and organic and musical and all that stuff? Does he join in? Uh, do they recruit another drummer? I mean, there are tons of drummers out there who would probably love a gig with this lineup. And uh, so let me think. You got, who do you need left? You need a keyboard player? No, you got Raleigh. You don't need a bass player? You got Ross Valerie. You don't need a guitar player because you got Neil Sean. So you need a drummer. And that would probably be somebody who Neil knows, who's he, who he's worked with in the past. Maybe a Santana connection maybe just an old Neil connection. But I've talked about this before, but the fact that these two guys were hanging out in Las Vegas could mean absolutely nothing, or it could be something to watch. Uh, if they start showing up 
in other places together. They may be trying to make a statement, uh, trying to say, hey, we've buried the hatchet. We're going to work together. Uh, we want to revitalize uh, the band and go on tour and make some money. And there are a lot of fans, traditional Journey fans, traditional Santana Journey fans. They might even be able to bring back some of those super old songs like Spaceman uh, that they haven't played in years. And there are some fans that wouldn't mind that with Greg singing. It might be kind of cool. So that's it for my video. Just a little speculating. Yes, I don't have anything etched in stone. I, I do really think, though, that Dean is not going to be in on this. I know I did a video the other day talking about how it would be great if he were in the band because then you'd have the voice. But I think, uh, in hindsight, uh, Kevin Shalfan and Ross Valerie was in the storm, too. So basically, you do a storm reunion. You got Neil Sean playing guitar, and then, you know, you need a drummer. So who do they pick? We'll see. We'll see if it even happens. I'm Dave, and this is The Real Music Observer, and we'll be back speculating and pontificating once again uh, real soon. We'll talk to you then.